when was the last time you truly enjoyed a dungeon crawler with three of your friends? What's that you say? Diablo 3? Okay, but how about for less than $8? I got you there, didn't I? If you visit the website I have listed in the video details below, you can purchase this game for the low. Or if you're a frugal gamer and you're patient enough, you can find it on Steam during a sale for even less. But hey, I'm not here to sell the game, I'm here to review it. Hammerwatch is an indie dungeon crawler hack and slash game created by two dudes named Jockum and Nicholas. This game has a nostalgic feel to it and brings back fond memories of games of old when it was more about gameplay and less about aesthetics. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love this pixelated style of art, however I know some of you gamers out there don't connect with the game unless it's pushing the limits of your system. This game was clearly designed with the budget PC in mind and also catering to the co-op mindset by keeping graphical strain at a minimum therefore enhancing speeds during online play. But let's get to the gameplay itself. The campaign is the same whether you play solo or co-op. With multiplayer you can host your own game, make it private, or join another host game even if it's already in progress. There are four classes to choose from consisting of the Paladin, Wizard, Ranger, and Warlock. Hammerwatch has everything you've come to expect in a dungeon crawler. There's the mysterious shrouded NPC, the secret rooms, the locked doors and the keys that open them, a variety of merchants, puzzles to unlock new areas, traps and the switches to disarm them, upgrades, extra lives, and of course the coins and treasure chests. There is one somewhat common thing that wasn't implemented in this game, and that's finding new weapons and armor. Instead of getting flashy new gear, you can purchase upgraded abilities and learn new attacks and better combos. I found that I wasn't yearning for new gear, but I was sometimes wishing to discover a new thingamajig as the loot becomes familiar rather early in the game. One great feature that some of you might overlook is the level editor that comes with the purchase of the game. This is absolutely wonderful and I applaud developers anytime they include ways for the community to enhance the gaming experience for themselves and others. It's a major reason why I play games almost exclusively on PC. So if you've beaten the campaign with your friends and you've already checked out the other modes, then get into the level editor and mess about. I'm sure you can create a maddening level to crush the souls of your friends. While clearly I can't compare Hammerwatch to a big budget game such as Diablo, I can say that my enjoyment to cost ratio between the two highly favors Hammerwatch. Usually in this world you get what you pay for, but for the cost of a value meal at your local double bypass express, I can't imagine many better ways to throw down my hard earned cash than for this game. My only real gripe that I found while playing this was the minimap. I was constantly hoping for my controller buttons or joystick to be able to navigate the minimap, but it was unfortunately static and therefore I had spent quite a bit of time backtracking in areas I needn't be before realizing I was in the wrong place. If you don't mind a few spoilers, I saved them for last just so you kiddos would have the choice of whether or not to view them. Stick around for a little montage of the game's finer moments, including many bosses and bosses, while listening to the sweet sounds of the Battle of Kings. Thanks for checking out my video. If you enjoyed it, click the like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel and social media accounts to keep current with Paper Planes updates. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.